The Honda Civic Type R and Mercedes A45S AMG are quite simply the fastest hot hatchbacks money can buy. The Civic is front wheel drive and has 316 bhp. The AMG is four wheel drive and produces a whopping 414 bhp. Between them, they cost 91,000 pounds. But can either of these hatches get anywhere near the brilliant new BMW M3, which has 503 bhp, is rear wheel drive, and as tested, costs very nearly as much as the hatches combined. At 1805 kilograms, the BMW weighs a vaguely astonishing 385 kilograms more than the Civic, while the all-wheel drive AMG still weighs 170 kilograms less than the M3. So on paper, and despite their wildly differing personalities, this should be a pretty close thing. The M3 went first and, as you'll see, set a pretty outrageous lap time in the process. This is what that felt like on board. Wow. God, it feels rabid in a straight line. <laughs> Massive traction. It does go a bit sideways when you switch everything off, but at the same time you go forwards. So even though you're doing a little bit of a slide, it doesn't feel like you're losing any time. Brilliant brakes into here. Good front end. I'm not sure the front end is just as good as the Alpha, but this engine, this engine is just a beast. This thing is quick! Oh my word! This thing is quick. 43.88 <laughs> seconds. That's insane for a four door car that weighs 1805 kilograms. Completely insane. So, that is the lap time for the world's fastest hot hatches to try and beat 43.9 seconds. That's the quickest time we have ever recorded on a four-door car, around Landau, by the way. First hatch to have a go at this was the Civic Type R, which, by the way, is the fastest front-drive car we've ever timed around this track. Civic Type R, I love this car on this track. I love this car anywhere. I have done some warm-up laps to get the Conti tyres nice and toasty. It's just such a good hot hatch, the Civic Type R. Not because it absolutely tears the headlines to pieces like the Mercedes. It certainly doesn't tear them to pieces like the M3, but okay, come on, let's try the lap time starting now. Late as I can on the brakes. <laughs> Blips the downshift for you. Lovely turning, really good under brakes, and then just commit on the throttle with just a touch of understeer, but not too much. Top gearbox as well. Oh. It's just so good on those direction changes. A little bit of power understeer there, but it hangs on so well through this last corner. And the lap time stops there. <laughs> Blimey, that's fast for a hot hatchback. 45.6. It's quite busy, it's quite busy, it's frantic. It's dead good fun though, because you can just put this car exactly where you want it to be, all the time through all the corners. Crikey, the Mercedes is gonna have to go some to go quicker than that. Go on then, let's see. 45.6 seconds is a new lap record for a front drive car around this track, but it's still well shy of the M3's ever so slightly ridiculous time of 43.9. So, could the more potent but heavier four-wheel drive AMG do any better than the Civic? 56,000 quid for a hatchback. 
It's getting a bit potty that, but it's a serious piece of equipment is the A45 AMG S. 414 bhp, it's obviously four wheel drive, I'm not sure even AMG could successfully put that lot and 500 newton meters through the front wheel, so yeah, it's four wheel drive. It's 200, and, I think 210, 215 kilograms more than the Civic, but on the other hand, it's nearly 200 kilograms lighter than the M3, it's 170 kilograms lighter than the M3, so that's, it kind of sits in between, but ultimately all you can do is put a stopwatch on it and see can it get anywhere near the M3 starting now? Yeah, it does go through there well. Bounces a, bounces a wheel, wants to become rear wheel drive all of a sudden. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice through there. It kind of squats and then really goes. It almost feels rear wheel drive through there. Keep it nice and neat through this chicane. Yeah, you can feel the weight. You have to manage it. Just, you've just got to... Oh, it's pretty good, you know. It's pretty flipping good. The lap time is there. <laughs> That's really fast for a hot hatchback. Shall I tell you how fast it's gone? Is it faster or slower than an M3? What do you reckon? In the end, the AMG clocked 44.9 seconds, which is very rapid indeed for any car, but still a full second behind the time of the M3. And that's a big margin around a lap as short as this, and it proves just how rapid the new M3 is against the stopwatch, or against pretty much any car you care to mention, come to think of it. Conclusion? The world's fastest hot hatchbacks are seriously quick, yes, but the world's fastest saloons are quicker still, even around a tight and twisty track like this. You might want to remember that the next time you come across a M3 in your hot hatchback, and you think to yourself, hmm, come on then, I could have that. Because the simple truth is, you couldn't. The end. Click on the video windows to watch a first drive of the new M4 competition or a track battle between the M3 competition and Alpha's brilliant Julia Quadrifoglio. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video or on our logo to subscribe. Cheers for watching.